I am right in the middle of the cottonwood bark pen. And I checked my email this morning and I had a question from one of the viewers. And his question was, will the cutter head from my Lee Valley cutters fit the new pilot shafts that I just got in the mail? Well, mine will, surprisingly. Now I've had two people tell me that they won't. So that must mean that maybe the cutter heads that they have are different. So it's possible that yours will be different. Uh, so by saying yes they will, I'm, it could be that in your case it won't. However, uh, my cutter head will. It, it will fit. Like here, this is the one from Lee Valley. And it will fit on the pilot shaft. And the flat part where, where the uh, set screws have to come up against, it, it's uh, pretty much in the right place. So, yeah, mine, mine works. Uh, yours may not. Now, something I want to talk about here, as long as we're talking about cutter heads. This is the one that came with these new pilot shafts. You'll notice that it's a little bit, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it, cone-shaped. In other words, uh, I was thinking, why would they make it like that? And then I thought about it, and I realized, well, there's two good reasons. Well, first of all, it's going to have a natural tendency to want to center itself when you're drilling down onto the flat part of the blank. Uh, but more importantly, I think, is that it will take the top of the brass tube just a smidge down closer, and that way your, your little uh, parts, your pen parts, are going to be pressing up tight against the uh, wood, rather than against the bushing. And so I'm thinking that's a good thing. So if you're thinking of saving yourself a few bucks by not getting the cutter head uh, that come with these uh, uh, pilot shafts, um, I don't know, I, I, I think this is going to actually turn out a lot better. Uh, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Anyway, answer is, mine fits. Yours may not. Uh, I had I had two that were the same, like this is the one that I got in the mail, and this is from Lee Valley. This is from the mail, this one's from Lee Valley. These two are from Lee Valley, they just happen to fall right in between these two, size-wise. Another thing I've noticed is they are not necessarily the same diameter as, as what it said on the little package they came in. It might be out a little bit. So, uh, but that doesn't really matter, because what I plan on doing is, I'll, I'll just take a, a tube, uh, you know, in, in this case, I'll, I'll just use this one. This is the one that comes with the slimline kit. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll just keep trying them on until I find, a, find one that fits the best, you know, and that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to even write the sizes down on the wood here. Um, yeah, um, I think somebody was wanting to know about the Sierra tube. Well, this is the Sierra kit, and I believe it's this one here it fits. Yeah, more or less. It won't fit on... Oh, no, this is this one here. Okay, now you notice it's just a little bit loose here. It's just about just right here, and it won't fit on this one at all. So that's the way I plan on doing it. I just keep trying until I get the right one. Uh, yeah, the uh, Allen keys are three millimeter on both these. So, uh, it looks to me, though, that the uh, little uh, screw that goes in, the Allen screw, is a different size, though. It's, I think the, uh, it's a little bit more heavy-duty on the ones from uh, William uh, Woodwright uh, than the one from Lee Valley. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a good thing, less chance of stripping it out. So, anyway, I hope that helped.